I send after him. You all right, Mr. Brett? All right, Cato. What happened to Pete? There was no time to find out. The police came. Head for home. Manners on the phone.
I conked the hornet, but saw that crash coming, and I had to jump. What makes you think he was killed? That car of his come roaring up, and the goggle chauffeur jumped out and dragged him out of the wreck. As limp as a wet rag. Yes, Meadow speaking. Say, which one of your men was fool enough to steal Britt Reed's car? What's that? Well, it's on the front page of the Sentinel. Weren't you in enough trouble letting the Green Hornet find your place without stealing that car? I didn't know it was Reed's car. I'll get it out of here before it can be traced. And you needn't worry about the Hornet. He's dead. Dead? What do you mean? Good. Get Reed's car off your hands and we're sitting pretty. Right. The job that Corey brought in yesterday belonged to Britt Reed. Yeah, I know, but... What's been done to it? Nothing. It's still in the shop. Yes, Mr. Meadows, this is Lou. Don't alter that black sedan that just came in. It's Pitt Reeds. She's so hot it smokes. Run it over to the junkyard tonight and have them break it up. Commissioner is here, Mr. Reed. Oh, well, send him in. Hello, Commissioner. What can I do for you? I just want to pin a medal on the Sentinel. Say, your tip on the medals out of park will enable us to smash the accessory racket wide open. The accessory racket? Sure. These crooked auto parks strip cars of accessories and replace them with inferior articles. Then they dispose of their loot in their own stores. Well, don't you think there's a connection between this racket and the outfit that are stealing cars? Sure there is. The small fry we've caught either can't or won't give us a lead to the higher-ups. Maybe he's the Green Hornet himself. No. What do you know about the Green Hornet in this case? Well, nothing, but I don't think he's a criminal. He's had a hand in breaking up every one of these rackets. The district attorney thinks he's just clearing away competition. After all, he has a couple of murders to his credit. That's not been proved. He's helped the police in every instance. And as a reward, this paper puts a price on his head. All right, Miss Case. But when I catch your bandit boyfriend, I'm going to charge you with being an accessory. You can quote me as giving the Sentinel credit for smashing the accessory racket. Thanks, I'll do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Reed, I got a line on some of the men that stole your car. All right, Michael, let's have it. I was checking the junkyards, like you told me, and at a place over on the east side, what do you think I saw? Well, come on, come on. This is no guessing game. It was one of the fellas that lifted your bus off the lot. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. Of course, he's not there now. He was just driving away when I spotted him. Well, let's go take a look at that junkyard. Sure. Hey, Dean. What did you find out? Everything's quiet at the junkyard. The police haven't connected it with the Meadows Auto Park. Good. Reed's leaving. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a motor that would do in a powerboat. Well, 
I guess I can fix you up. Jake. Yeah. These gents are looking for a motor. Show them what we've got. All right, right over here. So they didn't connect this yard with the parking lot, eh? Well, anyway, Reed's given us a chance for that job the chief ordered. What are you guys doing here? Pipe down, Slim. Those two birds that just came in are newspaper men. The young fellow's Britt Reed, editor of the Sentinel. Well, there they are. Look them over. Maybe they'll find something there you can use. Thanks. Give me that list of numbers. Why pick my place for your dirty work? I don't like those kind of accidents. You'll have an accident you like less if you don't obey orders. Why, you... Suffering snakes. Wait a minute, Michael. Hey, Jake. Come in a minute. Yeah? This one ought to be all right if the cylinders aren't scored. This is a junkyard, not a showroom. You've got to take them as you find them. Can't you find what you want? No, they all seem to be in pretty bad shape. Well, take a look at this one. Practically new. I think we're spotted. Come down out of there, you murdering blackguard! Blow away that gun. It was just an accident. Well, it sure picked a fine place to happen. Oh, I'm sorry, men. I don't know how that wreck got up there. Well, nobody was hurt, so forget it. We'd better tip Meadows at the junkyard is spotted. Oh, the whole works will be spotted if we don't stop Reed. Next time I'll use a gun. How many men you got working here? Just me and Jake. Well, I guess you haven't got anything here we can use. Where's Meadows? In the office. What's wrong? Plenty. I tell you, Reed, that was no accident. It was attempted murder. You're right, Axford. So only you didn't get a bullet in your back when you lugged out that gun of yours. But ain't we going to get them? It's a job for the police. You and I are in the newspaper business. Reed has spotted the junkyard. He was out there looking for his car. He wouldn't find anything. It's still here. But we tried to get him and missed. What do you mean, missed? We trailed Reed to the junkyard. No, my car wasn't there, Commissioner. But there's no doubt the yard is connected with the other rackets in some way. Get him to me that spotted the place. I'll send Axford along to identify the men in case you catch them. The bigger part was suspicious, but Reed just took it as an accident. It's no fault of yours the whole thing wasn't bungled. We can't send Reed's car out there now. Drop it in the river. We can't drive that far through the streets with every prowl car in town on the lookout for it. It's got to be destroyed. Put a time bomb in it.
Axford has gone with the police, Mr. Britt. Well, we must get back before he returns. The Green Hornet will hunt Mr. Meadows? I'm convinced that, that garage is the headquarters for the car stealing racket. Meadows must face the Green Hornet tonight. Oh. What time is he set for? Exactly 11. Just gives me plenty of time to get the car to that vacant lot. Keep it here a little while. What for? Why not run her out now? We keep her on that vacant lot too long, the police may find her before 11 o'clock. Silence your motor. Wait here. Sorry, but you asked for it. Hold her here a little longer. I'll tell you when to go. All right, Mr. Meadows. Who turned off that light? I did. The green one! Lower your voice. I want some information concerning the car stealing racket. Car stealing? Yes. I happen to know you're a member of the crime syndicate in this town. That you're a director of the Crooked Accessory Stores. And you're the real owner of Slim's Junkyard. We even have a shop here in this building to alter stolen cars. I can give the police enough information to send you to the pen for 20 years. What do you want? The name of the big boss, back at this crime ring. I'll give you one minute to talk, Meadows. Six minutes till that bomb cracks off. That's cutting it pretty fine. Run her out now. Meadows says to wait. Not me, I'm taking her out. All right, time's up. I don't know his name. I can show you how you can reach him. Come this way. All right, but no tricks. Put him in Britt Reed's car. 